the American classroom, the engine of our future. And right now, it's stuck in neutral. We've all heard the stories, low average levels of achievement, graduates not ready for college or work, inconsistent academic standards among states, even between zip codes. We've all heard it, and it's all true. How bad are things? Let's look at a few indicators. Only 19 out of 100 students who begin ninth grade will graduate from high school and finish college in six years. In 1995, the U.S. was tied for first in the proportion of young adults with a college degree. Today, 14th. We're going the wrong way. And the cause of much of the problems? Inconsistencies. Inconsistencies between academic standards and instruction within our school systems, state to state, statewide, and locally. Let me give you an example. Two ninth grade assignments on Homer's Odyssey. This assignment from a school with college and career ready standards asks students to write a comparative analysis of the larger ideas underlying the Odyssey and the film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? In contrast, this one from a school with low standards asks students to draw pictures of the adventures of Odysseus, create a crossword puzzle, and list the places Odysseus visited. Differences like these mean that some students leave school ready for college and career and others leave school unprepared to take the next step in life. This is an excerpt from one state's mathematics standards. The whole standard is 70 pages long with complicated explanations for each code. This makes it challenging for teachers to teach and difficult for parents to understand what their children are learning. We need to reform our education system if we're going to reverse the problems. A good place to start is to create clear and consistent academic standards across the country, like those in the Common Core State Standards Initiative. A state-led effort, CCSSI, is designed to improve educational outcomes for students by developing a set of consistent, clear, K-12 through academic standards in English language arts and mathematics. Instituting the Common Core State Standards is extremely important, not only for teachers but for students alike. It's reflective of all the skills needed, not only to gain entry into universities, but for global society as a whole. As for teachers, it gives us a benchmark to use inside of uh, our classrooms. I myself am very data-driven, and my school as well. So if I have a standard that I can go by that's clear and concise and gives me extra time to develop all the skills needed for that one content standard, then I can have my, my, my students soar. And that's my goal, is to be an inspiration to all my students. Can we really change the system? Yes. If we make the Common Core state standards a reality in every state. First, set consistent standards from state to state, ones that set appropriate benchmarks for all students, regardless of where they live. That will mean that families can relocate with confidence from one state or school district to another, knowing that their children will be prepared. Second, make the standards clear. CCSSI will create standards that serve as clear guidelines for instruction, describing what students should know and be able to do at each grade level. This will help teachers in the classroom and give parents a clearer example of what is expected of their children so they can better support their learning at home. Third, incorporate the best of the current standards. The effort will build on what many states are already doing right and no state standards will be lowered for consistency's sake. Fourth, make the standards relevant to the real world. Knowledge and skills will consistently focus on problem solving and critical thinking, skills that will help students succeed in college and in their careers. And fifth, avoid additional testing. CCSSI standards are expected to replace existing testing, not add to it. The result of implementing all of this, students will have a more level playing field from which to compete for college and will have a greater number of graduates ready for college and a career. 
as a military spouse, I'm always aware that we could move. And I have to be sure that my son, when he moves into another school, is not going to be repeating material he's already had or skipping things that he should have had. With Common Core State Standards, we make sure that a 6th grade education, an 8th grade education, a 12th grade education means the same regardless of what state you're in. This isn't just an issue for military families, however. This is an issue, issue for every family because we live in a highly mobile society. We don't know when people are going to move, and we can't have children who have gaps in their education because their family has had to move from one state to another. All children deserve access to an excellent education. Let's take the critical first step and adopt and implement Common Core State Standards for math and English in every state and every school district. We need academic standards that set a benchmark that challenges all students equally, one that prepares them for college and work. That can only happen with your support and your involvement. It's right for our children and critical for our nation's future.